Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we head to Pensacola, Florida, where Gulf Breeze PD pull over a vehicle for speeding and expired tags. Uh, the stop quickly escalates when she tells the cop she doesn't need a license to drive because, well, she's not driving a commercial vehicle. Unfortunately for her, this cop is of the no-nonsense variety and is not interested in debating pseudo-law at the side of the road especially as he suspects her of driving under the influence due to her, quote, extremely dilated pupils, glossy eyes and lethargic behaviour. Needless to say, she ends up in cuffs and spends what's left of the night at the Graybar Hotel. Right, let's get into the video. Young lady. Officer Banks, Gulf Breeze Police Department. I'm pointing you over. You're doing 54 and a 35. Any reason for that speed tonight? Where's the 35? Uh, well, before you got off the bridge. And uh, as soon as you came off the bridge, all this is 35. I was going 40, I thought. Nope. You got your license, registration, proof of insurance. You don't have to have a license to drive a car. Yeah, actually, yes, you do. You do not. 15, 7, 41 with me. So is this law written just for the fun of it then? Ma'am, step out the vehicle. Step Damn out the vehicle. Am I, am I, you, am you, I not a crime? Yeah, you are being detained right now. Step out the vehicle, young lady. I, I know my rights. Either you step out the vehicle, or I will remove you from the vehicle. I know my rights. Fifteen seven, sovereign supervisor, right sovereign citizen. Did you hear what I said? You need to get a supervisor out here right now. No, you need to step out the vehicle right now. Young lady, right step now. out the I vehicle. Step out the vehicle. Last time I'm gonna ask you. I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask, and then I'm gonna make you move. step out the vehicle. You're going to me a supervisor out here right now. No, you're gonna step out the vehicle right now. You are going to get me a supervisor out here right now. That's fine. We, I know my rights. What right is that? I, I do not have to have her driver's license to drive a car. I am not, this is not a commercial vehicle. Okay. I know my rights. Okay. That, Very well. That's what you want to stick with? Oh, I think she's sticking with it. The determined look coming from those glossy eyes tells you that. Call a supervisor right okay. now. All right. Right now. Or else what? I know my rights. If I don't call a supervisor, or else what? I guess we're not going to go anywhere then. Hey, okay. So just hold it for me and go and give me the channel. You need to get a supervisor out of here. Yeah, our channel want to be 1033. That can, that can educate you on what the law is. Okay. He's... He could educate me on what the law is. I don't usually advocate for an officer to call for a supervisor because they do it just to be clever and undermine the officer. But in this case, it's actually a good idea because the opposite occurs and he ends up educating the driver. What? So you, do you have an ID or you have a driver's license? I, no, I don't have a driver's license on me. Okay. Do you have one issued to you? Uh, in Mississippi. In Mississippi. So why would you need a driver's license? To drive on the road if you don't need a license. That was years ago. Oh, so what year is this? What year was the ID issued? 2997. I hope that's your supervisor. You yep. hope it is? I really do. Yes, I do. Okay. What is your name and badge number? I already told you my name. It's Officer Banks. I didn't. And I, what is your badge number? It's Officer Banks. Are you failing to... To, Are you failing to give me your driver's license? I don't have to give you a driver's license to drive a car. This is not a commercial vehicle. Okay. I'm not driving. I'm traveling. Okay. I have all the laws back here. Okay. So you're not going to give me a driver's license? I'm not going to give you a driver's license. I don't have to give you a driver's license. Okay. I'm, I'm traveling. I don't, I, I don't have to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. Okay. And what state is that? Any state. It's common law. Natural law. Okay. Constitutional law. Okay. You need to get a supervisor out here. I do? Yes. Okay. You can't even say the word constitutional law for some reason, let alone understand it. If you did, then you would know that the Tenth Amendment grants each state the right to enact traffic laws, like the ones being enforced right now. So what, I am what law? I'm requesting your supervisor. So just like I'm requesting your driver's license. Well, I'm sorry, I don't have to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. Okay. Sorry, Turner. A, she won't identify. She won't produce a driver's you, license. She's doing 58. Am, yes. 
Okay, and I do not have let, to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. Let, let, let my officer speak first, then I'll speak to you. Her vehicle side for speeding. 54 and 35 coming off the bridge. She asked me where the speed limit was saying that. It's before she got off the bridge. She actually did a U-turn. We were in the 35 zone. Mm -hmm. We pull over here. I introduced myself. I said, the reason, any reason why we're driving this fast? And I said, you got your license. She immediately goes into, I don't need a license to drive the vehicle. Okay. And they said, I am traveling. Okay. So, you do need a license to drive the vehicle. And you do have to identify yourself to these officers. I, I do not have to have a license to drive a vehicle. Yes, you do. I do not. Well, you're wrong, but okay. I know common law, natural law. I don't law, care about common law. law. You're in the state of Florida. You don't. You're, you're in the state of Florida. Law. You're in the state it of Florida. It doesn't matter in what state It I'm does in. matter. I'm in the U.S. It does matter. So I'm you better honest. hope the information you gave us comes back as to being you. So at this point in time, I need you to shut the vehicle off and step out of the car. I'm, I'm not getting out of the vehicle. You're going to get out of the car. I haven't been suspected of a crime. Yes, you have. It's called speeding. But you're also suspected of driving under the influence, so I would step out of the vehicle if I were you to save yourself an extra charge. You are being legally stopped on a traffic stop. You are not being cooperative. It is not a Terry stop. What Trust me, I know the it? difference. You are speeding. speeding turn the vehicle off and get out of the car. Out of the car now. Undo the seatbelt. Turn the vehicle off. Turn it off now. Officer Schaefer, unbuckle her. That's it. Put all that down. Step out, turn around, face away from me. Turn around, face away turn from around. me. Turn around. I do not have to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. Yes, you do. No, I do not. Well, then you can tell that to the judge if you end up going to jail. Exactly. Tell it to the judge. I'm sure he'll be interested to hear why you think you can drive without a license on a public road. I do not have to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. I have all the laws right there. I don't care what car. I don't care what laws you say you I have. I know that you don't care because you, you're, then you, you're supposed then to be you, a police then officer. Then you should a know that officer. this is that you should know that this conversation's over then. Right, because you don't care about the laws. You don't care about our rights. That's the problem. The fact that he pulled you over for speeding says different. It's not his fault you learnt your rights from the equivalent of a complex box. Have a seat. I need to call. Have a seat. I need to call somebody. Yes, I do. You call somebody from Santa Rosa County Jail. Excuse me. You call somebody from Santa Rosa County Jail. You're under arrest. I'm. I'm sorry, but I've got to play that part again. That was comedy gold. Excuse me. You call somebody from Santa Rosa County Jail. You're under arrest. I'm. You call somebody from Santa Rosa County Jail. You're under arrest. I'm. Okay, I'm done. Back to the video. I live right down there. Where's your ID out of? Or your license out of? Mississippi. I just thought you didn't have one. You Sir, just said you don't need one. This is this is this is ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. Th We're yes, not gonna play is. any of these games with you tonight. It's not a game. This is my rights as a, it's not as your a right. citizen. Good it's not your rights. Yes, it is. No, it's not. You're in the state of Florida. The state of Florida requires you to have a driver's no, license it, to operate a motor no. vehicle. Sir, it, it doesn't doesn't matter what state I'm in. See, that's your problem, is you say it doesn't matter, but it does. I have in this country, in it does. Car. I don't care about what laws you Sir, say you have. You should care about the I laws don't. and the rights but of citizens. I, You're a we know officer. your rights. We know your rights. No, you don't. You don't know, know your right. rights. Yes, no, I do. you don't. Yes, I do. Because if you knew your rights, you knew, or you would know and should know, that you must have a driver's license I, to operate a motor vehicle. Also, the fact that you feel the need to carry a stack of paperwork around in the back of your car is a giant red flag that you don't know your rights. And that goes for every soft out there who does this. If you were right about the law, then you wouldn't need to do this because, well, the police wouldn't stop you in the first place. And if I find out that you, if you find, if I find out that you are not giving us the right information I, to I identify you. I the right information. Why would you, I do that? I'm, I'm trying to... Use my rights as a legal citizen. Why, Why would, would you do that? do that? Well, you would do that because you don't have a valid driver's license. I don't have a valid driver's license. I don't have to have a valid driver's license. You do. No, I do not. Okay. I do not. Then we'll let the judge determine that. We will let the... <laughs> you, you can't arrest me. I haven't done anything wrong. We can't arrest you. you. No, you can't. If you don't have a valid driver's license, we most certainly can. I think being arrested for driving without a license is going to be the least of your worries tonight, especially when they discover the reason why your eyes are so glassy and your speech slurred. Ma'am, I'm telling you right now. No, 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 stop. I'm telling you, you didn't.
piss us off. I okay? obviously have because y'all are no. detaining me illegally. No, you're, you're being arrested is what's happening. And you have not pissed us off. We are doing our job. No, Whether you agree not. or not doesn't matter. It's you a mute take point. You from the top. You don't know, your, you don't know the, the laws and the rights. Yeah, right. Says the person sat in the back of a police car wearing cuffs and on her way to jail. Law is law is law is law. We do. We do. Sergeant Turner. And and in this country, what laws do we follow? Canon law. Y'all follow canon law. We follow the rest natural of law. Who is we? Law. Who is we? Who is we? Tell me who we is. Police officers. No, not police officers. We we are police officers. We're not peace officers. We're police officers. Yes, I know that now. Yet both peace officers and police officers have the power of arrest, so it's a moot point really, isn't it? Anyway, now she changes tact and resorts to begging the officer into just letting her go. But after that performance and what they find in her vehicle, that's not happening. So then your argument just needs to stop and you just need to sit there quietly. Sergeant Turner, please yes. just let me go home. No. Why? Because you do not have a valid driver's license. And you have done nothing but give my officers a hard time during this entire but ordeal. I have to tell you that I have rights. You don't know your rights, I clearly. I haven't been ugly to y'all. I haven't yelled at you. You have not away. been cooperative. Yeah. I haven't been cooperative in what Not silent? at all. Just go with it? No, just be honest. Sergeant. Yeah, good luck with that. Asking a soft sit, to be honest, is like asking my dog to not eat that last sausage on the kitchen counter while my back is turned. That sausage will not be there when I turn back around. Anyway, now she promises to not drive if he lets her go, but he rightly calls her out on that too. Sergeant, please. You don't have a license. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll never drive again. Yes, you will, because you believe you don't have to have a I'll license. I'll go get a driver's license tomorrow. Well, wait a minute. Now, you, now you're telling me that you'll go get a license. Because you're telling me that you I have no believe choice. believe you don't. That's correct. You have no choice. Turner, so this is the no. Home. This is the road that's being taken, and this is what's going to happen. So now things go from bad to worse. We learn that she has an active warrant for failing to appear. I suppose she thinks the court doesn't have jurisdiction over her because she read about it online somewhere. But even the warrant pales in comparison to what they find in the car. You failed to appear on a court appearance for what was it? Expired license. Yeah. So your Mississippi driver's license is expired. And for the registration. Okay, and the registration. So you had a court date that you missed. Do you remember that? No, I don't. You don't or you choose not to? No, sir, I would not lie to you. I don't lie. I, w I do not remember that. Okay, well, you do have a warrant out of Santa Rosa County. So We're regardless- in Santa Rosa County. You're in Santa Rosa County. Do you not know where you live? I just moved here. My when? mother lives on High Point. When did you move here? About two months ago from Pasigula, Mississippi. Okay. And you don't know what county you live in now after no, two months? No, I don't. I don't. That's not something that I use often, what county I live in. Okay. Do you know what? I cannot actually tell if she genuinely doesn't know where she is or if she's doing that soft sit thing where they deny the existence of geographical borders. What do you guys think? Well, you are going to jail tonight. Well, thank you, Sergeant Turner. You're welcome. I can do that too. I can, I can stare at you. You know that you are doing the wrong thing. Nope, I know. Y'all could let me go and handle my warrant tomorrow. No, we can't. Right, because y'all have something to prove. I don't have anything to prove. My officer certainly doesn't have anything to prove. Getting caught breaking the law is inconvenient. Get over it and stop blaming other people for your own poor life choices. But what, what we want you to understand mother? is there are laws that you have to follow. Whether you agree with them or not is a mute point. Because if you choose not to follow them and you continue to act like this and do this, you're just going to constantly be going to jail. Is that what you really want? I'm not acting like or doing anything like you told us that you don't have to have a driver's license to drive. And clearly, you do. 
Can I, can I please call no, my mother? No, you will be able to call your mother from the jail. Please let me go ahead and call no. her so she can head there. No. She's sleeping, please. By the time you get booked in and everything, it'll be early enough in the morning, you can call her and she'll probably be getting up. This is going to so take what, hours? It's not going to take hours, but it's going to take some Sergeant time. Turner, please. Can, can you just the answer you is no. From the look on your face then, I'm guessing you didn't hear the word no as a child much. But if you carry on down this road, you best become familiar with it. Also, you're a grown adult, act like one. The fact that you would wake your mother up so she can run around after you at 2am over this screams entitlement. But you're convinced you can drive without a licence, so I'm not really that surprised. Anyway, the sergeant now gives her one of the best lectures ever. You got some karma. I'm not worried about my karma. I know, I know. I know. One of those. No, you know what I'm actually worried about? People like You're you who think that laws don't. No, they, there is no, no quota. They, there, there it's people like you who matter. believe that laws don't pertain to them. I, and that's just not don't. the case. They don't. Then enjoy spending a lifetime in and out of jail because I've that never is been what to will jail. happen. Though it, though it won't, actually. If you continue to act like this and do this, it will. I, I'm not acting like anything. Then I would suggest this, moving back to Mississippi. Are. I'm not moving back to Mississippi. Then either. if you stay living here and driving a car without getting a valid driver's license, <laughs> that is what is going to happen. There you go. Facts. Not that I think it will work or anything. She's too far down the rabbit hole. But it was a good speech. You do not have to have a, a driver's license to drive a vehicle. I've already, I've already been through roadblocks with state troopers with this. Then they're not very good state troopers. Yes, they are, because they know their, their rights. They no, know the they, no, if they let you through with this garbage, they're not. This is not garbage. It's garbage. Have, have you done any research into it? I, more than you will ever know. Okay. You're not well, the first you one. Not You're not the first person I've run across that thinks this way. And, yeah, I know. We're, and those, we're a those, problem right those now. other people went to jail too. Good, good. You know. Yeah, you're not the first, and you certainly won't be the last to believe this garbage. Mine and plenty of other channels can attest to that. It's not. It good. doesn't change it the fact happen. that I do not have to have a driver's license to drive people. Mm -hmm. I do not. I'm okay. not a commercial driver. I'm not driving people around. I'm, I'm traveling. That is considered a part of my home. And I do not have to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. I suppose you don't have to have a registration either. No. Your tag's expired. Okay. You know who I am. You run my tag. So here's what I am curious about. Because you're right. I do want to know more. Here we go. This is where he exposes how dishonest she is. This is interesting. Is that your car? Yes, that's my so car. So you're the registered owner of that car? Yes. So at one point it had a valid tag and registration. Right, because if I rode around without any tag, that would just be asking you for trouble. So instead you're okay just riding around with an illegal expired tag. It's not illegal. So so you're basically masking the fact that you don't believe you the laws apply to you. And I so, have to do whatever I have run through these hoops that y'all put us through just to get by. You mean these Yes. Run through these hoops, that's just soft sit speak for breaking the law. If you guys truly believed laws didn't apply to you, then why try to hide what you're doing? The word games these guys play to hide their criminality is incredible. <laughs> Where's the gun in the car? The gun? Mm -hmm. There's no gun in that car. There seems to be ammo. The gun's in the pawn shop. When did you pawn it? Like two months ago. So why are you still just carrying around ammo? I didn't know that ammo was in there. <laughs> What's wrong with carrying around ammo? What can Nothing. I do with it without a gun? Nothing. All right, is wrong with it. But if there's ammo, normally there's a gun. And since the vehicle's being towed, we want to keep the gun in safekeeping. I think she's more interested in the officer looking through the backpack in her vehicle than the ammo at the moment. Fifteen got breeze. 
Even though you sent the warrant, stand by. Excuse me. Give me your full name. Give me your full name. Look at me, give me your full name. Give me your full name. Drugs inside the vehicle, you are under, under arrest now for possession of felony narcotics. I didn't give y'all permission to search my vehicle either. Your vehicle's being towed, we're inventorying it. We're not searching it. Yes, you are. You're searching my vehicle. You say that our laws don't matter to you, so what does it matter? Obviously, I don't have any laws right now. No, there's plenty of laws. You're just breaking them. I don't have to mind laws that, that, aren't, that aren't valid. And there's the problem. You don't get to arbitrarily decide what is and what isn't a valid law just because you've decided you don't like that law anymore. And that's the reason why you're in cuffs and on your way to jail. They're valid laws. They are not valid laws. The United States and the state of Florida seem to think they are. The United States has a constitution mm -hmm. that we, we fall under. Right. Statutes, and, mandates, and codes. So, None of that matters. So under our constitution, it still gives the, go the state governments the right to govern themselves, correct? That's right. And the sheriff has all and the power. That's right. That's right. The sheriff does. He is yes, the he, yes. head law enforcement officer. He is not officer. part of NATO. He's not part of the Council on I'm Foreign not, Relations. I'm not part of NATO either. Well, you, you, you take orders from the top. No, nope, I don't. Yes, you do. You know who I take my orders from? My chief of police. Exactly. And he takes orders from the top. Who's the top? You want me to give him one name? I mean, that would be impossible. Well, I don't know who the top is. I know, because you haven't done the research. There's that word again, research. That word always pops up on these videos, which for her will consist of believing conspiracy theories, looking at memes on Facebook and downloading garbage from a right to travel website. Right, so I think that's where we'll leave the video. This back and forth goes on for another few minutes, but it's all but over. She was arrested and taken to jail. The officer determined she was operating a motor vehicle while her faculties were impaired. Field sobriety tests were not conducted due to the driver displaying erratic behaviour ranging from non-compliance, complaining, argumentative, irrational mindset and extremely dilated pupils, etc. She was charged with operating a motor vehicle without a valid licence, driving under the influence and possession of cocaine. Right, thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, then please leave me a like, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you also to my channel members and patrons for your continued support. Right, take care all and I will catch you in the next video.